Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Kai, we're back with another video. Today I'm going to be showcasing the Tenpai Dragon for what you should be doing in going first, what are the options, and for going seconds, how to OTK through Dimension Barrier or any other stuff. Of course, this deck has been made a splash during the previous few weeks of releasing of the Legacy of Destruction. Because it's a dragon deck, a lot of people that have eyes on it since it made a big splash in the Kipita CS for winning first place and also the multiple tournaments in Japan. The deck is like quite simple as like Cyber Dragon, you go for OTKs, going second, but what the, are the options can you do in going first? So we're going to be talking about it now and we have a few options, of course some is, le is legal both in TCG and OCGs, but some only legal in OCGs, I'll be trying to cover that as well. So I uh, apologize for the noisy surroundings because it's heavy rain outside and we have a lot of people in the shop today. So I'm going to be showcasing some of it, hope you guys enjoy the video and of course if you've got anything, remember to comment down below, so we're just going to go into the videos. So these are the 5 basic cards you will see in every Tenpai decks, the monsters, and of course the, the spells. These are the utility ones. So the, um, the first combo I'm going to be showing is the most basic 1 card or 1.5. You, go, you do while going first. It's very simple, but of course it has a lot of, like, I would say, interaction to it. So by first we summon Baidra. Baidra's effect, you can search a spell trap or set a spell trap from deck. It, and you you have two options, is it a few spell or a quick space spell. So if you're going first, you won't, we won't be using the few spell because we don't want to mind that much. Since we're gonna go for OTK, so that is not really relevant. So we're gonna search the quick play spell and we activate it. And we're gonna search the Chandra. So Chandra's effect if you control a fire tribute monster, you can summon the first one from the hand. And both is gonna go into the the most simplest I would say is the Hararic Seal. This might seem a simple cards to pass turns, but if you combo with some things like the like the Kaiser Colosseums or the Dimension Shifters, the outcome will be a lot more different. So we pass to your opponent's turns by only having the Kaiser Colosseum on the field, and your opponent doesn't create the Kaiser Colosseums, they can't summon more than one monster on the field. And this indirectly affects against Snake Eyes, they can't dash into Populous. And for Silent Force they, or Voiceless Voice, they can't into Skull Guarding into Low Prayers. Against Mirror Match, they can't Baidra into Chantra. And also for the Salmon Grace, they can't go into Bailings, into Gazelle, etc. That kind of things. They have to knock it over. And of course, if they do, you will tri tribute, tribute it to bounce their face up card on the field. And of course, the effects will trigger. You have to summon one from the deck. And for this, because it's, al it's already in the battle phase as well, you have you will mostly just trigger during the battle phase. So your opponent can't. Vader can't trigger the talents. Of course, it's vulnerable to Ash, so it's one of the options. So, for this, you can tribute, it's tribute into summon the Baidra. Baidra can search the free spell for the next following turns. And the other combo is with Shifters. So, if you have this on, if you have this on the field, and your Shifter is already like is ongoing during the previous turns, means these are all banished. So, if you if you already Shifter means during your opponent's turn with Kaiser Colosseums or without Kaiser Colosseums, the Hierarchy is gonna tri tribute the effects to bounce one cards and since Hierarchy is already banished, so if your opponent can't call by the graveyard and because it's no longer the graveyard, and also it will tribute for cost, it's not in the graveyard, your opponent can't DD Crow it due to the Master Rule 5 block rulings, you can't remove it from play, so they can only Ash Blossom it. So your lesser chance to get in terms of the series, so that's why this is okay with this. And also, if your opponents already like extend a lot, or extend like to a certain period, you, once you tribute this, or in the graveyard or anywhere, you can summon the Fandra instead, because Fandra can summon one from the graveyards. So you, this one is more like the greed one and earn more because you get two monsters and one follow up next turn. And during the next turn, since you can't get the viewer anymore with the few spell, you don't have to worry about any of the main phase stuff like Vader, Impum Ogre, etc. So this is what we do. And for the second one, would be 
it's like you just end with this and then you prevent it prevent all your stuff from being disrupted and during your opponent's turns you can like try to play along since your mod since like if they touch your monsters Chandra's effects are gonna triggers and get to summon Fandra or you have these two on the field you have Chandra and Fandra both of these can't be destroyed by battle means that they have to use card effect to destroy them during the main phase of yes that is more like vulnerable in the Fire King matchup and of course if you have this if this card is set during the battle phase you can open it and summon one from the deck essentially from the deck you add one from the from deck to hand and put some so it's during the battle phase as well so you can use this to summon more so you have have more to like interrupts. So during so so during opponent's battle phase, they're trying to ram over you, destroy you. We can activate the effect to make this into Black Rose Dragon. You're gonna pop everything during your opponent's battle phase. It doesn't matter if you pop yourself if, because if you summon by during the it's summon turn, you have to fall out at, already. So this is the. AOT, you force your opponent to give up their battle phase in order to run over or destroy it. If they destroy it during, during the main phase, but for decks nowadays, unless they use Flimber or SP to banish two of your cards, otherwise, otherwise it won't be that painful if you have a follow up. This basically you have four monsters, so they need to get rid of four. So that's why you can do this in the opponent's battle phase. And also, if your shifter is going along, if you Black Rose, means everything is vanished with, with this, so it doesn't matter anymore. And this deck can OTK through shifters if you play correctly. Of course, without the protection and stuff, but it's still OTKs, but it is what it is. And the next one is a more fancier one. It's more legal to the OCG than the TCGs. It's like the rocket stuff, I'm gonna show you guys. In Valis, oh, 2.5 card combo, oh, the one with the Discard Forest. Not this one, of course. So what you do is you summon this and it uses this effect to search the quick spell. And then you feel control of fire dragons, you can actually use this effect to summon. And then you're gonna synchro these two into a violent dragon. Dragon's effect, gonna bring back whichever whichever you like is fine. So then this way into striker and striker's effect we're gonna add the reward sector. Kim Jia Chia Romila So we're gonna link these two away. Into I'm, I'm sorry guys, this is have to be a replacement since I forgot to bring it. Yes, it's Romulus. I forgot to bring my Romulus, so sorry about that. So this is gonna put, put the link here. This is the first time I replace. I really want to wait for another day. So uh, shout out to Kinji the Boromir phone and Romulus effects. It's gonna search the Dragon Ravines. And here we're gonna open the crystal first. See, you will need another dragon on your hands in order to make something work. So you can search for another Chandra. It has to be Chandra. You can't search other something else because it's a tuner and also it's a level four, so you need it. And we're gonna open the ravine. Ravine's effect is gonna be a random card. And we're gonna send the Absarada. Absarada's effect is gonna get us into the. Tracer and then we replace the ravine into the sector. Sector is effect, you summon some, one from the hand, and it's effect that it's gonna pop the sector. We're gonna summon recharger, tracer is gonna insert. PC, this is important and why I say it's not legal here because we need the second 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 dragon. And I thought yeah okay. before I do anything stupid. Uh this effect you just summon most of your marker, it's also one from the hand and it can't be used as link materials, it doesn't matter. So it, and then we're gonna link recharger into striker. And then Pisty is gonna summon back recharger. And since this is can't be used as link material, so we're gonna synchro it into Backfire Dragon. And then we're gonna link these two 
into dangerous. These are, as you all can see, this is a basic rocket combo deck, combo, so you know where this is going. So Striker's effects gonna destroy recharger, ta target recharger, and recharger gonna target the chain one, chain, chain link one, chain link twos. So it's gonna bring back the the tracer. And the ranges is gonna come back. So we're gonna link these three into Boro N. Boro N is gonna target tracers to bring back whichever unit, of course the, the charger. So these two is gonna go into Boro Savage. And Boro Savage is gonna attach one. Uh, sorry, this is Banish. So you're gonna attach. And then with conditions summon, you banish these two. <laughs> into Black Feather Assault. So we have two negates, one Omni, one Interruption, and this, if opponent has uh, activates four or more monster effects, you gotta, blow, you gotta blow everything up, including yourself, but you don't wanna do that, so this is what you do. And of course, during opponent's turns, you can like use this, if you don't have any Trident stuff, the Tenpai stuff, you can use this to revive that whatever you want to go, for, to go further there. So this is all, all it does. And the other playstyle would be you playing like Floodgate with Heat Waves, Kaiser Colosseum before going first, you're playing this, the Laughing Gods, or stuff like this. With Kaiser. This is what you play for going first. For this deck, this doesn't have much of a thing, especially in a mirror match. This, this card is important because they can declare Chandra and they can't have their tuners on the field, they can't synchro, they're forced to use something else, which is very crucial. It passes back the turn for you so you can just do even more. And with this, if you have one monster on the field, if they don't draw things like Lightning Storm or Dusters, they're gonna get punished for this. And also, if you play, if you going first, you want to play around your own anti spell fragrance, your Rider is it says set on the field. So you can set this on the field or set the field spell on the field. So you can set it a turn before. So when you have, so if one passes turn you still can open this and you still can go into your basic OTK place. And also the another one is to punish your opponents for going for going first if they like summon this and if they like, something like they ash blossom you and you have chandra you're gonna punish them because for going this into the charmer so charmer is gonna target the ash into this so these two into Prometheus, Prometheus to bring back whatever. So, and also it's another thing is important if you have the blue one is if the the fun thunder is even even more fun because for and they don't have any restrictions. So a Promethean princess, if you have these on the field or you have these. Your Prometheus effect gonna summon the Fandra. Fandra is gonna bring back Chandra. So these two into Raging Phoenix, and then into Sidra. Comes back. This pop summon. Effects. This is already 8k, so and you pop three cards in the process. You have Promethean to pop one, you have the Zelantis to pop two, so it's, so it's three cards. Three cards, 8,000. This is uh, this is a play through Dimension Barrier because the Dimension Barrier did a lot hurt this deck, so you have to play this. So, guys, that's it for the video of what to do going first or play through the, the dimension barrier of course this deck is still lose a lot of things like you still lose to battle phase imperm battle phase ogre etc and also not to mention threatening wars so you have these kind of package to help you push forward uh, 
and also with this to help you protect from stuff like ogres during the battle phase. That, that's why, it's, that's why, this is why we will we'll be playing the following weeks. Maybe until the playlist. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button. Subscribe as always. I will see you guys next time.